Hey guys, John from Old Running Farm here. Thanks for joining us. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we planted this raspberry patch. We ran, uh, we have 25 raspberries, three different varieties. Um, and I apologize if there's wind, it's really windy today. I'm not sure how the uh, mic is gonna pick it up. So we got three rows. Each of these rows is 75 feet long. Or no, I'm sorry. Each of these rows is uh, 50 feet long. We got 24, 25 plants in each, and they are 24 inches apart. So that's two feet per plant. Uh, we got about five feet in between each of the rows. And we're just gonna leave them as grass for now. Um, and we just mulched around the rows. We've had some success with other raspberries. This is our first uh, go at a large scale version. So we have three different types of raspberries. The one right here closest to the fence is called Anne, and that's actually a yellow raspberry. Uh, so we're really looking forward to getting those. Those should be pretty cool. Next we have Caroline and Polana. Um, we got all of these berries from Johnny's Seeds, uh, and you'll see the raspberries actually came as bare root canes. So they just look like little sticks in the ground. Uh, the blackberries are Primark Freedom, which I guess is their standard blackberry. Um, and those came as little plants. Um, so it's just kind of interesting to see. So we did a, a little bit different planting method with each one. Um, for the raspberries, we dug a much deeper hole because um, we had to spread the roots out um, and everything is between 28 and 36 inches apart which is what they're supposed to be um, with the blackberries since they were so small we just kind of used the trowel to uh, dig up enough space to plant them um, and we used alpaca manure in the bottom of every hole um, once we finished planting them and we had everything set we went and got some mulch we mulched the entire rows, and you can see we left uh, the paths in between just with grass. We'll, we have a little um, manual lawnmower that we'll bring back here to, to mow in between. Yeah, choo, 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 choo. Um, so we're also going to be setting up some drip irrigation out here um, because that's what everybody says is the most efficient way of watering. Our property is, is pretty big, so it's a real nice spot right at the edge of our alpaca fence. Uh, the dogs can't get back here so they can't terrorize or tear up anything. Um, so again, we'll do drip irrigation back here because we have a really long hose that reaches the spigot on the side of the house. Um, and this way we can go and water everything that we need to water and then kind of hook this one up and let it go for a little while. Um, we'll also be setting up trellises since these guys need some support. Um, so we'll probably show that in a later video. We've had some success with other raspberries. This is our first uh, go at a large scale version. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna water these guys again and uh, I'll show you what we did. Stick around.
But yeah, so we're all set. We got everything in. We got everything watered. Uh, really looking forward to getting some berries. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And be sure to subscribe. Bye.